Children at our Lake Couch and Elementary School have learned that the weather station that they operate and they monitor daily played a pivotal role in averting a water crisis in their community. That station is part of the network of weather stations run by University of Victoria climate scientist Andrew Weaver. At Paulson Elementary, a teacher uses the station to give her students a better understanding of the world around them, but she never dreamed that the province's decision makers would be turning to it for help. CTV Scott Cunningham reports. It's a rainy, wet day. We had to have an inside lunchtime. Heavy rain keeps students at Paulson Elementary behind closed doors. But why not youngsters here don't need to be outside to connect with the great outdoors? Well, uh, we refer to ourselves as little scientists in the classroom and meteorologists. It went down a bit. Students here crunch weather numbers, looking at temperatures, wind speed and rainfall levels. All data collected on the roof of their school. It can tell you the heat index. It's cool to watch. Teachers here at Paulson Elementary never thought their small weather station would be used on a grand scale. But that is exactly what happened when a water crisis hit the Cowichan Valley. Information collected by school weather stations is published online by the University of Victoria. Climate scientist Andrew Weaver runs the project. It's also broadcast nightly by CTV News Vancouver Island. It has been wonderful working with CTV Vancouver Island over the years in making sure that the information that we collect on the school roofs and distribute to the internet is actually widely used. This past month, the government of BC turned to the Paulson Students Weather Station for vital information, using it to make tough decisions on how much water to release from the Lake Cowichan Weir during the recent drought. This is critical decision making to have um, information feed into that. We're really pleased and excited that this was uh, possible. For the teacher who fought to have the station installed, the news is a ray of sunshine on a very cloudy day. It's heartwarming to, to think that a small school like this, by putting just a, a little machine on there, would, would have that outreach to all those different places. Fears of a drought are gone, but for students in Miss Walter's class, there is no recess when it comes to keeping a keen eye on the screen and, and the sky. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Lake Cowichan.